Yeah, in the podcast, he talked about writing his own treatment for an origin story and getting a big name in the indie world of filmmaking on board. And it goes as follows. He, Joe Manganiello, wrote his own treatment for an origin story movie and after a two-hour Skype meeting, convinced the Raid filmmaker Gareth Evans to sign on despite the director not being studio movie kind of guy. For anybody who's seen The Raid and The Raid 2, getting Gareth Edmonds, who he considers himself not really a studio movie kind of guy, getting him on board for a Deathstroke solo movie is a huge W. I mean, that's a no-brainer if you've seen The Raid movies. Those movies are considered some of the best action movies ever made. The fight choreography, if you think Captain America the Winter Soldier is impressive, that John Wick is impressive, and they, they both are, but they don't stand up next to The Raid and The Raid 2. They don't. And it hurts for me to say that as a Captain America the Winter Soldier, huge, huge fan of that movie. Those movies aren't like The Raid and The Raid 2. So that's a no-brainer, right? That's a no-brainer for Warner Brothers. Okay, you have an actor who wants to play Deathstroke, wrote a treatment, convinced an indie guy, Gareth Edward, Gareth uh, Evans, to direct it. No problem, right? Wrong. When the dust settled, it was not seen as a priority to make a $40 million dollar movie about a villain origin story in which you show the backstory, said Manganiello. So let me get this straight, Warner Brothers. The same studio that greenlit a Joker R-rated movie that made a billion dollars at the box office and won Oscars. A Deathstroke movie is not a priority Fucking idiots. They they really have no idea what they were doing. And it pisses me off. Because around that time, I was still a defender of Warner Brothers. I was. I admit it. But here they are. And yes, the irony is... <laughs> <laughs> the one R-rated movie that they did, Greenlight, and as far as their DC properties go, made a billion dollars. You think now they'd make a Deathstroke movie? We'll talk about that shortly.